Hi again, and what are we going to give you this week? Well, I tell you what, we're looking for a blustery Easter. You can see from the state of me, you know, I'm dressed up as if it's midwinter. Well, it isn't midwinter, it's nearly April, and we've got lots of things to do in the garden still. If you haven't pruned your roses, prune them, get them done. And the most important thing on roses now is to get some feed onto them. So get some good rose feed. I like a qualified rose feed for roses. So buy that at your local garden centre or nursery or even online and that will sort the roses out. Watch for black spot because as those leaves emerge, if there's black spot already there, it'll be a good time to get those sprayed off as well. Talking of spraying off, if you've got any pernicious weed, get one of those instant sprayers that you can buy ready to use. Just go around and zap them in the middle. If you've got thistles in your lawn, a lot of us have, uh, just go around with a, a remover, you know, one of those weeders. I'll show you how to use one of those on World Radio Gardening later on because I've just purchased one myself. Um, plenty of pruning to finish off. If you haven't finished your apple tree pruning, it's a little bit late, but you could still get away with it. If not, leave it till summer, because summer will produce less growth, remember. So that's really quite important as well. Daffodils, particularly if you've only got a few, I would just uh, deadhead those, because that's always helped. And remember we talked, um, if you look at the, the uh, piece I did on blind daffodils, you'll see that um, I recommended feeding good liquid feed really important that is to get a good liquid feed onto your roses at this time of the year uh, onto your bulbs at this time of the year as they fade what do i do with roses no bulbs as the daffodils fade <coughs> you feed liquid feed them is best but you could use a granular around the, the base of them and that's really good as well because it goes down gets into the actual bulb itself and uh, will help to produce more flour next year. So they are something else. What are we going to do on the veg plot? Struggle. It's wet. Don't go on it if it's too wet. But you're getting impatient. I know you are. So am I. Well, start off peppers, uh, chilies, all those sort of things on the windowsill indoors. If you've got children, why not grow a bit of cress? Don't grow them on blotting paper. Grow them a bit, a bit of silver pearl or a little bit of compost or something like that. And then also worth uh, doing a bit of radish with them. If you're lucky enough to have a cold greenhouse or a cold frame, you could start off carrot in there, spring onion, radish again, and winter density uh, lettuce, something like that would work really well indeed. Don't forget um, also, we are got to see that we've gone through our seed catalogues and bought plenty of seeds in readiness for the coming season. And if you've missed out on seed, I think this year, is, is because it's so late, the soil is so cold, I think we might be in for a bonanza in buying lots of uh, plug plants and getting a bit of veg growing in that way as well. So there are, there's a few tips. Have I missed anything out? I'm sure I have. The lawn, never forget the lawn. If it's far too wet, don't cut. However, if it's dry enough on the surface and it's not too spongy and it doesn't lift the mud from the soil, I'll tell you what you do, raise that mower up and cut high. Don't overdo it. I wouldn't do much scarifying at the moment. I think it's far too wet, um, but wait and see. Get enough wind and sun over the Easter period into the beginning of April and you might better crack on with it. I'll be back with more tips here on World Radio Gardening in the not-too-distant future to keep you up to date. Don't forget, you can uh, inquire any gardening problems to us here at World Radio Gardening. Just send them along to post at worldradiogardening.com.